How to Use the Oral Health Assessment Tool. The Oral Health Assessment Tool outlines all the information needed for the annual assessment on one page, making it relatively quick and easy to use. The eight categories we will examine are lips, tongue, gum and tissues, saliva, natural teeth, dentures, oral cleanliness, dental pain. At the top of the page, write the resident's name, the date, and indicate if this assessment is an admission assessment. This would be their first assessment completed within four weeks of being admitted. An annual assessment. This would be completed when residents who have been living in the facility for at least a year. Or a follow-up assessment. Follow-up assessments can be done at various times throughout the year. Frequency will depend on the scoring from their previous assessment. Residents with higher scores will likely require more attention to their oral health. At the bottom of the form, there is a space to indicate when the oral health assessment tool should be repeated. This could be annually for residents with good oral health, or more frequently, for example in three or four months, for residents who received higher scores on their previous assessment. Ideally, the annual assessment will be completed to coincide with resident annual care conferences. The date is always recorded for easy tracking. The oral health assessment tool is divided into columns. The category column lists the areas and conditions to be examined. The assessment columns are as follows. Zero or healthy indicates the resident has good oral health and no intervention is required. One or changes indicates that some changes are apparent and an intervention or referral will be required. Two or unhealthy indicates that the oral cavity is unhealthy. Referral is required. Any section in these columns that is underlined or has a star indicates that a dental professional should be consulted to assess the issue. The score column provides space to add up the score from the assessment columns. The action required column provides space to indicate if referral and or intervention is required based on the score. The action completed column provides space to indicate if the referral or intervention has been completed. For example, looking at the LIPS category, a score of 2, which is unhealthy, states swelling or lumps, white ulcerated patch, bleeding, ulcerations at the corners. If a resident was found to have LIPS in this condition, a dental professional should be consulted. If the LIPS are dry, chapped, or red at the corners, this indicates a change from normal. A dental professional would not likely be required to address this issue, but the residents may benefit from some sort of in-house intervention. An example of a simple intervention to address dry chapped lips would be lubricating the lips with a water-based or non-petroleum lip balm. Once the lips are assessed, move along to the score column and place the associated score of zero one or two for that particular area. In the action required column, use this score to determine what action is required. The final column is used for follow-up to check whether the recommended action has been completed. At the bottom of this column, write the name of the person who completed the assessment. This provides the care team with a contact should questions arise. This is also helpful if a referral is required for a particular resident. If possible, it is ideal to have the same person who completed the assessment follow up on any interventions or referrals that were recommended. This provides the most accurate assessment of change.